This week on the high road, we're gonna have our hands full as the target species we go after are wild hogs. Now we won't be going after these hogs the normal manner that most hunters go after hogs. On this show, we're gonna use the most state-of-the-art technology and night vision equipment and thermal imaging to hunt down and kill as many hogs as possible. The equipment we'll be using is made by Armasite, and literally, when it comes to hunting and shooting in total darkness, there is no better equipment on the market. I've been shooting night vision and thermal for quite some time, not as long as you, but I'll tell you what, I'm still a little intimidated when I look at all the gear. You gotta admit, it can be intimidating. Yes, sir. What would you choose when you say, okay, I wanna get into hunting or shooting at night, whether I'm using night vision or thermal, and I'm trying to think, what do you think would be the best way to start to try to maybe explain the difference between thermal and night vision? Well, I love thermal because I can scan a field and instantly pick out anything alive out there from a bird to a mouse to a hog to a deer. But no, no, hold on. The, the reason why it's picking up is because of the heat that that object, that rat or coon or pig is putting off, right? Yes, yeah, so the, the, everything else in the background, you know, is, is the temperature that it is outside, but living animals put off a heat and thermal only, does not show you any light, it just detects heat. Okay, and the cool thing about thermal is that you can actually use thermal during the daylight hours as well. Day or night. There's, you have white hot and black hot. Explain to the to people what the difference is between that and, uh, and why that is important now. White hot would be anything like the living animal, anything that's producing heat will show up white on white hot. Black hot, of course, it's the exact opposite. Anything that's alive shows up black. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about night vision for a little bit. Night vision is picking up the light from, from the stars. I mean, this is starlight stuff. It's driven by, by that, or actually from illuminators, right? Illuminators, the moon, even a far off city if you have a cloud cover. Uh, with the thermal, we're able to pick up the, the hot object and get on it, but we can't see a lot of detail now, can we? The, the higher end, the 640s, you're getting some detail. But the I squared, the night vision, you have 1080p, basically high definition. You can ID the target. And that's the reason why a lot of times we'll wind up combining this. I mean, we have thermal and we have night vision and take them both to the field, but they have two different tools. Now, on this end right here, we've got the, we've basically got your spotting stuff, okay? You got binoculars and monoculars, and you'll see some helmets out here, but enough of that. Let's go to the dedicated rifle sights, okay? These are dedicated. so which means if you have a rifle and you want to jump into the night hunting world, these will mount on any rifle. And tell them about the Zero. I mean, it's got windage and elevation. Windage and elevation, just like a, a normal scope. You, you fire your shot, you sight it in, just like a normal scope. One thing that you can wind up doing when you mount your night vision dedicated scope on, on your dedicated rifle, the one thing is you can sight it in during the daytime as long as you leave the cover on it. You have the little pinhole and you can use it in the daytime. Let's see, let's talk about uh, in, a, in a situation where it is very dark outside. There's no moon. I mean, it is so black you can't really see your hand. How, tell them how we're able to actually be able to see and see so well. We would use um, external IR illumination, which is invisible to the naked eye. The animals can't see it, but it will look like a regular spotlight. Well, it, it, it's a flood. You can go from really tight to wide. And, and so you can- And brightness really, too. Yes, and so what you're able to do, you're able to adjust it. This is like an invisible flashlight. You won't be able to see it unless you have your night vision on. And, but let's, the thing is, I wanna talk about guns now, right now. Okay, because what you've got, your guns, these are your rifles. Your rifles are completely different than my rifle. Okay, I am shooting a standard bolt action rifle. You are not, okay, but this equipment works just as well on a bolt gun as it does an AR type gun. Tell them why you shoot this. I shoot gas guns because I'm doing eradication for several large ranches. So I need multiple rapid shots mm -hmm. accurately. Uh, let's just say you don't have a dedicated rifle. That all you have is you just have one rifle, okay? And it's a bolt gun. This right here is a bolt gun. And you'll notice on it, it has this unit right here, this is what we call a clip-on, okay? And what it's done, it's taken a standard daytime bolt-action hunting rifle, and it's turned it into a nighttime killing machine. And simply by, literally, it doesn't take, it doesn't take 15 seconds, 10 seconds 
to clip this unit on, it doesn't change a zero at all. I crank the power all the way down on this. I turn it on at night and I can absolutely shoot at night just as well as I can during the day. And it, what it's done is taking my bolt gun and affordably turning it into a nighttime gun. So I don't have to have a dedicated rifle like, like what you have here to go out to the field. And again, this is just the coolest stuff. I mean, it is cool equipment. This is all Armasite equipment. Armasite is the leader in making night vision and thermal equipment. And, and they're stepping in. I mean, they've been helping the guys in the military for a long, long time. All right, and now they're stepping into the hunting world and they're taking that technology from the military world and bringing it to guys like us that are hunting, whether they're eradicating hog populations or trying to find a specific animal and giving us the tools that we need to not only get our job done, but have a lot of fun doing it. So I hope that's helped you uh, get a good basic information, knowledge of this stuff. And I think now it's time to hit the field and see if we can uh, show them how it works. Sounds good. <laughs>